And at home, it was Rain Lover and Jimmy Johnson on Melbourne Cup Day. Australian going right on with the job is well clear. Rain Lover at 7-1 gives Jimmy Johnson his second Melbourne Cup win. Fuller second at 20s, fans third at 12-1 from Lowland Savoy. Not since Archer before the turn of the century had a horse been able to win back-to-back -back Melbourne Cups. Until Rain Lover. For a former Broken Hill miner, it was like striking gold. I was with Graham Hegney for about six and a half years, and uh, then uh, he decided to go over to Tobin Bronze. Uh, he was sold to America and wasn't firing. They, um, the last resort, they got Graham over there to uh, see whether he could get him going. And um, I sort of, uh, I think we had about 28 horses in work at the time. So, and Graham wasn't having the best health. So he just told the owners what, what he was doing and I ended up with about 14 horses. And lucky enough, one was Rain Lover and uh, the other one was um, Malcolm Reed's little horse won the derby, Dar Lace. So it was a good, uh, a good start. Rain Lover had won the Two Mile Adelaide Cup before Robins became his trainer. In the spring of 68, jockey Jim Johnson joined the team to complete the history-making trio. Well, he was, a, he was a different horse in the McKinnon Stakes. And uh, I thought, well, I think I might have another champion here. That's, a, that's the way he raced. Those three days between the McKinnon and the Melbourne Cup are always an anxious time. How did Mick feel? Very tally, you know. I only had the one horse here and you'd go home in the morning, finish pretty early and go home and the first thing you'd do was we'd read the, you'd get the Melbourne Sun and there'd be always a new horse coming into the, with a chance. But Rain Lover certainly didn't read the newspapers and lined up in the cup a seven to one chance. Around the turn into the straight, there's two and a half furlongs left to go and Rain Lover has dashed to the front. It's Rain Lover from Fuller going out after him in second placing. They were being followed then by Ariosto coming into the picture and Val Homanstar unwinding a run down the outside as fans coming into it too and Galilee is making a mighty effort as they race in towards the furlong post and Rain Lover has dashed right away from them. It's Rain Lover six or seven lengths out in front of Fuller. Lowland in third placing followed by fans and Galilee finishing on but they've got no hope at all Rain Lover. He's 10, 12 lengths in in front and Rain Lover scores an easy win in the Melbourne Cup. Rain Lover from Fuller in second placing. Pan Rain Lover's scored. winning the Hello, Cup was outstanding. Not only did his winning margin of eight lengths equal that of Archer's in 1862, but he recorded the fastest time ever in the history of the great race. And my statement has always been that uh, with all the champion horses they've had through the years, uh, you can throw in the whole lot of them. I don't think any of them would have beat him on that particular day. Uh, I mean, he's won by eight lengths, he's, won, he's run it in record time, and uh, uh, I don't think any of the other champions during the years would have beat him on that day. In the autumn, Rain Lover won three Wait for Age races, proving that he was more than just a two-miler. He carried that good form into the spring of 69, in preparation for his second cup. When the vet took the blood count, it was down badly, and he said he had a virus of some kind, and... Uh, well, within the next three weeks, um, I mean, for a horse, preparing a horse for a Melbourne Cup, you couldn't give him the racing, you couldn't even give him the work. And uh, so we just potted him around at Flemington out in the centre without gulping or anything like that and just trotted and cantered around. And um, for a horse to pick up and come out and win a, the Melbourne Cup again uh, it was really an outstanding performance. But I wasn't so confident the second year because he got beaten in McKinnon on the Saturday at wait for age, and then he had to carry 9-7. But uh, I wasn't as confident as winning the, uh, of him winning the second cup as the first. But come that first Tuesday in November, Rain Lover was ready to race into history. And then when I, uh, when I straightened up for home and, uh, uh, and sawed him along, it was just like, uh, it was just like jumping on a sprinter, you know. He was uh, changing horses halfway through. Up and the leader, Sir Kinsman, about three parts of a length in front of Rain Lover and Fleur. They've both grabbed this leader, three across the track, two lengths to Wizcan moving up. General command on the fence. Coming around the home turn now, two and a half furlongs to go. And shades of 1968, Rain Lover dashed to the front. Coming down towards the two and the crowd roared, Rain Lover in front. 
Holstruppers moving up on the outside to challenge and they're followed closely then by Swift General Fuller in behind them. Trails now pulled out and he's coming home reasonably well only. Holstrupp moved up on the outside to tackle Rain Lover. They're clear of Trails who can't win. He can't stay. A half furlong left to go. Holstrupp and Rain Lover. Rain Lover and Holstrupp. They're going head and head. Rain Lover on the inside. Rain Lover's got his neck in front and won by a neck. Second Holstrupp. First in that epic final furlong is one of the most courageous ever witnessed in the Cup. I looked up, looked at the pace, and when Allsop run to him, I thought, well, uh, he's, this is 24 pounds different away. He's gonna, he's on us, but that horse is gonna be too good. He got level with him, but he just, he, that good a horse, he just had the will to win. He wouldn't, wouldn't let him get past. It was a bit of a, it was a bit of a hard go, I can tell you, the last furlong, and, uh, but on the line, I was doing better than what, um, and what Allsop was, he's run and finished, and, um, but it just proved what a champion uh, Rain Lover was, to uh, be uh, a sick horse and come out and uh, pick up and come out and win another cup. Mick Robins has no doubt what it was that helped Rain Lover become a legend. A big heart, you know, uh, really I broke him in and I just thought probably you get the bit fall in love with him, but I thought he was the best two mile of the race, but that I've seen in here. Rain Lover's effort to win consecutive Melbourne Cups is truly one of racing's great achievements. It was all about courage and a will to win.